then we sat down and said, you know, uh, we, can, we can do something more with this band. Let's uh, make it a priority, which is what we did. It's kind of when I stepped back from full-time wrestling and, and, and Rich and the guys stepped back from the things we were doing. And uh, at that point, I did expect us to be, to be, you know, if you don't know if they're going to be the biggest band in the land, then quit now. So over the last five years, the band has grown uh, ridiculous how much how much is gone. Yeah. But also we have, you know, the, the evolution of the band and, and the size of the fan base has grown. So um, I can't say that I didn't expect this and I'm expecting a lot more, but that was only since we put, you know, put all efforts into it back in 2010. Why not? You know, I, mean, I just saw uh, Stones last year and they were amazing. And none of those just for seven year old guys. And they're amazing for a band in general. I saw Kiss a couple of months ago. Keenan Paul was 63 and 65. They were incredible. That's a good thing about rock and roll. You don't have to give it up. As long as you still look good and still play good, you can do it forever. You know, and uh, I think that's something that, that's just started over this generation. You know, we're basically since the birth of rock and roll, but you get guys like McCartney and Stones and even the Hood come on, you know, check them out. So it's it cool to see this and that, to see that those guys are still playing together. It does give inspiration to, to all of us to know that you can still do this. There's no, there's no set retirement in rock and roll exactly. uh, anymore. It hasn't really changed over the last 10, 50 years for everybody. In fact, when we were kids, when your dad hit like 59 or 60, that was it. You know, your grandfather, they would retire, and that's, that's it. You know, I think everybody's parents just work until they want to stop now, and that's the way it should be. Well, I mean, we, 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 we had the, the fortune of touring with Metallica back in 2013 in Australia. I uh, did a stadium tour with them over there. It was, that, was, that was amazing. That's the biggest debate. You know, to see how, how the big leagues play and how the big boys play. It was, uh, it was a pretty cool experience to, to check that out. Um, you know, if you're talking about your favorite bands, you know, we'd love to do a tour with Kiss. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. But still, I'm from the band that I kind of run now. I mean, you know, Big Sevenfold are very tight with them, the Black Bell Brides, Stone Sour. Uh, you know, bands like that would be a lot of fun to tour with. Um, so whatever, I mean, we're, we're, we're very lucky in that we have a very diverse style and sound, and we can tour with anybody from, you know, Shine Down to Buck Terry to Slayer to Metallica to the Big Sevenfold uh, to Fury of a Dead Man, and those are all the bands we've toured with over the last little bit. So um, we can go up there and, and go tour and tour with anybody's fans. Right. Well, I mean, it's a very tough uh, school to kind of lead up the pretenders very quickly. And, um, you know, you realize, you realize pretty fast if you really want to do it or not, because it's not easy. So, But if you can make it through kind of that, that, that system, you know at least you have the, uh, the mental toughness to be in the business. And that's important because a lot of people think it's so it's just gonna be a lot of fun, I'm gonna go there and be on TV, I'm gonna make lots of money, and that's not it. That's, that's you know, some same thing for, for rock and roll. Oh, I'm gonna form a band and we're gonna be the next Beatles. So it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into it, and it's a very small window of people that actually make it. So when you train in a, in a system like the Heart Brothers, which is very demanding, very difficult, you know, you find out right away if, if you have, um, if you have, you know, the guts and the courage and the tenacity to see to go to the next step. Come on. You know I, you. Well, I mean, I just knew that it was a big moment. You know, I, I've been more peace for nine years up at that point, but it didn't matter. And everything that I had done and all the success and all the, you know, the fame that I had before that moment kind of meant nothing. So, um, I knew I had to hit a home run, but I was ready for it. I was excited and I was uh, pumped up and I was ready to go. So, I knew it was important, but I knew I had to I mean, 
you like say, why would you change this? Why would you change that? It's like, that's just, that's how it goes. It's, it's um, there's always differences between now and 10 years ago in any type of sports or entertainment or music or whatever it may be. So, um, you know, I wouldn't change anything. I enjoy the product. I'm not a person who analyzes and complains and wants things to be different. I, you know, it is what it is. And you enjoy it or you don't. You don't like it, then go watch, you know, pro soccer or something. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. No problem, Chris. Have a great day.